Shalawan. All praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. We have a sure word of prophecy, and that comes from the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. We have a more sure word of prophecy, and we being of the believers, those that believe the report, we have a sure word of prophecy. Here's the word sure in the Strong's G949. It says, stable, fast, firm. Let's look up this word, fast. In a simple Google definition. Fast. It says, so as to be hard to move securely. All right. So this is a doctrine that is not movable. All right, this is a secure doctrine, meaning everything that the scripture says that's going to happen, it's going to happen, okay? Let's get the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 11. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. And the words that the prophets are speaking, starting with the apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, these are the words that the Most High have put in our mouths to speak, okay? Due to Yahweh Shai supping with us, giving us his spirit, which is the spirit of prophecy, which is to say before, Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So all of the prophecies that are written within the scriptures, which is the words of the Most High and the words of the Most High that has been embedded in his trumpets or his watchmen or his shepherds, which are his prophets, okay? Those words are not gonna return unto the Most High void and void meaning empty, all right? Everything that the Most High has set forth, all right, it's going to happen. All of the prophecies that the Scripture speaks about is going to happen, such as the implementation of the chip. It's going to happen, okay? The, the ultimate hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, that day is upon us, all right? That day is not going to return unto the Most High void, okay? The total destruction of the wickedest kingdom that ever been erected, which is America, which is known in the scriptures as the mystery daughter of Babylon. It shall be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. It's gonna happen. As, uh, Malachi 4 and 1, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Okay, that's prophecy. Those are the words of the Most High that shall not return unto him void. Okay, this book, in the book of Isaiah 34, this book, which is the scriptures, can't be compared, okay, to any other book because there is no other book that's compatible to the scriptures. Why? Because the scriptures have prophecies that are written within it, okay, that has come to pass, that is coming to pass, and that will come to pass. That's why no other book in the world, all right, you can't compare it to the scriptures. Isaiah 34 and 16, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the scriptures, okay, which is the Bible, and read, no one of these shall fail, which is what? The prophecies. That's the separation between the Bible and the rest of these books. The Bible have prophecies that has come to pass, that's coming to pass, and that will come to pass. Why? Because the words of the Most High, which is the scriptures, the Bible, okay, shall not return unto him void. It says, None shall want her mate, meaning no other book is compatible with the scriptures. For my mouth it has commanded, 
in his spirit it have gathered them all right so there's no other book that you can compare with the scriptures once again why because the scriptures are filled with prophecies all right that will come to pass let's go back to second peter 1 and 19 Let's go back into the word sure in the Strong's G949. It says stable, fast. We got a quick Google definition of the word fast. It says firm, all right, meaning um, it's deep rooted, all right? It's not movable. It says sure, trusty, okay? And these words are, are trustworthy words, okay? That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Second Ezra 15 in verse 1 it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord Amos 3 and 7 the Lord power will surely do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets alright and due to his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, supping with our spirits, we have the words of prophecy. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, which is the scriptures, for they are faithful and true. See that? So everything that is spoken of concerning prophecies without uh, within the scriptures, all right, is not going to return to the Most High Void, all right? Because the Most High is not a man that he should lie. And everything that the Most High said was going to happen, all right, has happened, is happening, and it will happen. One quick example, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, thy power will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So this is talking to Israel, all right? And we know the story. Israel did not hearken. Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, but it shall come to pass, meaning prophecy, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power, and we didn't hearken meaning we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and sacrificed the other gods. That's why we are in this situation that we're in now here in America. It says to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And that this is a prime example of the words of the Most High shall come to pass all the time. His word shall not return unto him void. We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we are here in America, all right? Because we did not hearken unto the Most High's commandments and statutes and sacrifice to idols, okay? And by us doing that, the words of the Most High uh, fulfilled itself, meaning the curses have overtaken us. Now we're in a period where the curses are slowly but surely coming up off of us, but in the beginning of our hardcore bondage here in America, this prophecy took place, all right? That lets you know the words of the Most High shall not return unto him void. Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And by us breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, we have came into our bondage. Egypt represents our bondage. And this is not talking about the ancient Egypt. This is talking about this bondage here in America. All right. The scripture speaks about America as being that spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay. It says again with ships by the way of the transatlantic slave trade. That's how we got here. It says by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies all right, Esau for bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. 
and no man shall buy you, meaning, and no man shall redeem you. And we're waiting upon the coming of our Redeemer, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, because he is the only man that has a body that was fit for sacrifice to buy us back, okay, to buy us out of this bondage that we were sent into, and that was by his blood redeeming us, okay? So when you read the book of 2 Peter 1 and 19, it says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. So we have a trustworthy, okay, uh, firm, okay, stable word of prophecy, okay? So that's why we must be prudent and foresee the evil and hide of ourselves, meaning continue in this truth because everything that has been prophesied, especially the downfall of America, okay, the the uh, depth of two thirds of our people and anyone that's not right with Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, it's gonna take place. This is this is that sure word of prophecy. Esau Edom is gonna get the order from the Most High to come down on the tribes, and the tribes consist of you so-called Negroes on down to you so-called Mexicans. All right, he's gonna try his new world order, but he's not gonna succeed because why? Prophecy must be fulfilled. It says, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, meaning be prudent and foresee the evil and hide of yourself, all right? Believe in the doctrine because it's a sure doctrine. It says, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, this information, all right, shining here in this gross darkness, mainly here in America, okay? Because that's what this information is, light that is shining in a dark place. It says, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Okay? And ultimately, that's going to be the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right? So, the words of this book shall not return unto the Most High void. This is a sure word of prophecy. So, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom. DTA.